This weekend's V8 Supercars Championship round is in South East Queensland, just outside of Brisbane. It's the Coates Hire Ipswich 360. Let's go and check out all the action as the team set up for this weekend's racing. Well, last year, Queensland Raceway was the domain of Craig Lowndes. And Craig, after what happened in Townsville, for, this, for your race team, you'd love to have a repeat of what happened here in 2012. Yeah, we've had two good years. Our history here has been great. Uh, it is our test track. Um, we had a little bit of a hurdle. We had to jump over at Townsville. We believe we're over that now. And, uh, and of course, we get onto it. We've only got two more rounds or sprint rounds to go before we get into the best part of the year for me is the long distance racing. A lot of people put a lot of expectations on you and your race team. You know, still sort of in and around the 10, but uh, you guys have much higher expectations than that. Oh, for sure. I think that, uh, you know, this year is obviously a great uh, level playing field for all of us because a brand new car and car of the future. But, uh, of course, uh, you have a couple of good rounds and then, of course, then you have a bad round and you're back to, almost back to square one. This weekend, back to the sprint race format, 60-60 on Saturday, two on Sunday. There's a lot to think about. Well, there is, and I think that uh, you know that 60-60 has gone with me and against me. So uh, you know, I'm not a big fan, but I actually don't mind the, the, the format. So uh, fingers crossed we can have a good victory on the Saturday, move on to Sunday, which is obviously what I enjoy most, which is the longer races, and you can actually think about it, look after the tyre, fuel consumption, everything uh, starts working on Sunday. Well, for the second time this month, we're in Queensland, and Queensland Raceway this time, James Courtney, but Queensland's been pretty good for HRT in the last few weeks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a cracking last couple of rounds, really. From the test we did prior to uh, Darwin, uh, we found a lot of speed with the car, and Darwin, we were on the podium the other weekend, got one to it at Townsville. So, last five podiums, we've been on three of them. So, speed's definitely turning in the right direction. Out at Ipswich, has been pretty good for me in the past. I've been pole and one, one out there. So, it's, uh, you know, it's a track that I enjoy going out to. It's, it's a good one for the fans. They get to see, you know, it's got a little bit of an amphitheatre thing sort of going on there, so you can see the whole circuit from, from anywhere. So, it's a... Uh, you know, it's a good little race and uh, normally produces good racing. Must be nice for the, everybody back at the workshop to have the, some momentum going, you know, heading into some race meetings. Yeah, that, that helps a lot. You know, it's a, it's a big pat on the back for everyone, all the guys and girls back at the team that have you know, been slogging it out for the last couple of years really to try and get this thing turned around and, and heading in the right direction. So, uh, you know, we're not kidding ourselves. We haven't found the golden bullet. We've still got work to do to uh, continually develop the car. Um, and try and keep it in the front and, and the pointy end. So we've got a few little things on the car this weekend, which is, which is great, and uh, a few more things in the pipeline. And also back to sprint racing format, 60-60 on Saturday. You like it? Uh, it makes Saturday really, really grubby. It's really messy for me. I think it's messy. Um, it's confusing. It's a lot of work for the boys and mechanics. It's, uh, it's just it's too chaotic. There's too much going on. It's, uh, I think it would probably benefit from having a, a more of a traditional sort of format. And... Um, yeah, then everyone knows what's going on. Let's now check out the points on the Coates Hire leaderboard. It's still Jamie Winkup leading his Red Bull Racing Australia teammate Craig Lowndes. But have a look at the Ford Performance Racing duo of Will Davison and Mark Winterbottom. They are closing in. Moving on to the track schedule, and there's only two practice sessions on Friday, but they do both run 75 minutes each, and there's also the co-drivers who will take part as well for the endurance races. On to Saturday, a final 30-minute practice session in the morning, then qualifying, and then the split 60-60 race, which gets underway at 3.40 in the afternoon. Sunday, two quick-fire qualifying sessions in the morning, 15 minutes each, and then in the afternoon, the first race at 1.45, and the final race of the weekend, that's race 24 of the season, gets underway at 4.20. Let's now have a look at the TV schedule for the weekend. In Sydney and Brisbane, it's all on Channel 7, getting underway with V8 Extra from 1 and then the race coverage from 1.30. In Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth, pretty much the same, all on 7, mate. On Sunday, in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, the coverage starts at 12.30. Sydney and Brisbane, it's on 7, 7, mate in Melbourne. And then the time differences, all on 7, mate in Adelaide and Perth. And full race high definition replays are on 7.30 on Saturday night and then also the Sunday races that evening once again at 7.30. Also look out for further replays throughout the week on speed. Everything just about in readiness for this weekend's Coates Hire Ipswich 360 at Queensland Raceway. Remember to stay tuned to speedcafe.com this weekend for all your racing action across Australia and around the world, including the Hungarian Formula One Grand Prix. And also while you're on the site, check out the Crimsafe Tech Talking Pieces and also our race guide.